This is Power Ground Boxing, courtesy of Power Grind Sports. And you know we talk about the biggest names in sports and entertainment. Our focus is on honoring those of the past and the present who have made a great and positive contribution to this wonderful sport that we call boxing. I want to encourage you to be dedicated to the full-time grind because I'm telling you boxing is all grind all the time. Do you understand what I'm saying? Of course you do. This is Quick Jab and today we're going to be talking about Amir Khan. That's right. Amir Khan. I just saw Amir Khan, right? I just saw Amir Khan, I want to say I saw him on Fight Height. I want to say that. Man, shout out to my peoples at Fight Height. Now, I saw him on Fight Height and he was talking about retiring and why he retired. And he was talking, he was giving Terrence Crawford his flowers. Oh, man. You know what? Let me talk about that. Yeah. So he talked about fighting what it was like fighting Terrence Crawford and how Terrence Crawford, how he wasn't expending a lot of energy. However, he was making Amir Khan miss by just an inch, you know, just getting out the way of those shots, just, just by just enough to get out the way of the shot. Do you understand what I'm saying? And Amir Khan was giving all the praises on this earth to Terrence Crawford. And then I was thinking in my mind, it must be so great to have a legend, because whether you know it or not, Amir Khan is a legend, but it must be so great to have a legend like Amir Khan giving you praises. You understand what I'm saying? Like, oh my God, you, you know you a living legend if you got a living legend giving you praises. I'm just saying, man, man, shouts out to Amir Khan. He got 34 wins. He got six knockouts. I mean, 21 knockouts. He got six losses. Listen, one thing that I really like about Amir Khan is that he was and is an excellent boxer, an excellent boxer. Like, you, no one can say that Amir Khan is not a boxer boxer. Like, listen, I would be willing to argue with a multitude of people. When it comes to boxing greats, I would put Amir Khan in the top tier of boxing greats. Okay, so let me elaborate on that though. When I say boxing greats, I mean an individual who is completely technically sound as it applies to maximizing the skill set of boxing. Amir Khan has always been a technically sound, technically fundamentally sound boxer. Now, of course, we all know Amir Khan's Achilles heel or Achilles chin. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, we just, we, Amir Khan, he is known for, you know, people catching him with a good shot. And if you catch him with a good shot, most of the times he does not just eat that shot and recuperate. Most of the times, <sighs> You know what I'm saying? But I'm not, when I say technically sound, I'm not talking about him being chinny or not being chinny. Cause you know, that's, that's been his criticism, but man, he has always been a wonderful boxer. And I would debate all day and I can point out different fights where he just was so technically sound and so fundamentally right. And he was like, oh my God, man. Even there's been times where he lost but man, if he hadn't gotten knocked out, you'd been like, oh man, he boxed the socks off of that boy right there. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, with, in boxing, since it's an individual sport, you have to have the total package. 
That's how it works in boxing. You got to have the total package. And if you don't have the total package, then what will happen is someone who does have the total package will um, get you out of there. You got what I'm saying? So that's just that's just how boxing works. You got what I'm saying? That's just how it works. But I really enjoyed um, hearing uh, Amir Khan talk. Amir King Kong, you know what I'm saying? I like King Kong. That was always cool, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. Um, but like I said, I saw that video today, and he was, you know what? Uh, a great human. A lot of times in boxing, since you know it's such a brutal sport, we don't give people their flowers. But Amir Khan, he really deserves his flowers because. He has really carried the sport of boxing, how you're supposed to carry the sport of boxing. One, he didn't duck no smoke. They ain't, they ain't, you can't name some people that he was ducking. Now, there are times where certain fights didn't happen. He always carried himself in an honorable manner. Listen, Amir Khan, from outside looking in, has been one of the most honorable fighters that I have ever seen. You know, just having integrity and always just trying to, you know, being humble and, and just standing up for what's right and trying to do the right thing. Like he is an individual that people don't speak about, but he is a person where you say, you know what? If I want a role model in boxing, I can be like that guy. That is the imagery that I have seen from Amir Khan. Like he has really represented the sport of boxing in a phenomenal way. He has represented being an athlete in a phenomenal way. And he only lost six times. So let's not act like that's a lot of times. That's not a lot of times. He only lost six times. But in my heart of hearts, and hopefully in the world, in the mind of the boxing world, Amir Khan is a champion in their mind. Because he's always a champion. For me, he's a champion in my heart and my mind. You got what I'm saying? Because he represents the sport. He carries the sport in an honorable way. Because his behavior has been exemplary. His behavior, he represents a sport, yep. He also represents a religion, yeah. And he represents a region on this earth. And he has done all of those things in a remarkable way. From out, like I said, this is outside looking in. Never see any controversy with... Amir Khan, see him out here being disrespectful and, you know, out here breaking the law and just being all reckless and talking crazy and just, you know, none of that. Clean image, clean cut, never talking crazy, stay humble, got millions. I'm just saying, man, you know, you know, I was always told that you stay down and then you come up. And that's what he did. He just stayed down, man, and came up. You know, and then he got out of the boxing, you know, he just retired, getting out of boxing. He got all his cognitive faculties. He's great with sentences. He does commentating. I'm telling you, man, Amir Khan is an individual that you want to be like. If you love the sport of boxing and you're really a boxing fan, then you are definitely going to be like, yeah. Amir Khan, you you all right in my book because he's all right in my book. I hope that he's all right in your book, too. You got what I'm saying? But I'm telling you, Amir Khan has done a great, excellent job of representing this great sport of boxing. He has been a great representative of just his family, um, just the region that he came from. He's been a great ambassador for the religion. I'm just saying, like, Hey, man, I really respect Amir Khan on so many different levels. And 
I really respect how he just gave Terrence Crawford his flowers. Oh my God, man. Amir Khan really gave Terrence Crawford his flowers on that interview. I'm not sure that the interview was on Fight Hype, but I think it was on Fight Hype. If it was, if it was on another boxing channel, I apologize for not shouting you out. I should have shouted you out if it was on your channel. But I'm telling you, man, I saw Amir Khan and I was just, I was so happy. I was proud, you know, because sometimes, especially if you've been tracking boxing for a very long time, you feel like you know these fighters from what they give you, you know, from different media and, you know, just just looking at them and and, and seeing their journey, you feel like you know them. You know, and then if they talk to you and they communicate with you in a way where you're like, wow, this guy's impressive. So I say that to say this. So I've met Amir Khan and he was humble. He was cool. He just he was a person where if you just talk to him, you felt like, you know, him. you know what I'm saying? Like he could make you feel that comfortable. You know, now I know he was a stranger, but I know he don't know me. I don't know him. You know, but like I said. You know, my me and my family, we met Amir Khan and it was a great meeting. You know, he just was a cool boxing guy. And a lot of times, especially with celebrity boxers right now, sometimes it's not a, and just celebrities in general, it, sometimes it's not a pleasant experience when you meet someone that you respect or someone that you really like because they do something that you enjoy. You know, so... When I met Amir Khan, it was a very, it was a great experience, you know, and, and he really talked, he didn't give me like them, you know how like if you ask, if you ask a, box, a boxer or a celebrity a question, and then they give you this vague answer where it's, where it's like a get out my face type of answer, you know what I'm saying? Like he was you know he was clicking on all cylinders up here and answering the question so that was a great experience to to see somebody that i really like and i really enjoy boxing uh watching boxing you know or watching him box and then he just being cool you know what i'm saying it's just it's just a cool moment cool experience you got what i'm saying that's how it is you know to be a blessing to other people and that's what we do at power ground boxing we try to do our best to be a blessing to other individuals so if you don't know we donate boxing equipment you got what i'm saying powergrind.com i gotta let you know but look man i had to just share that amir khan experience with you i was very proud of amir khan i was like man you all right, dude. You all right. That's why. That's why you one of the greats. That's why you a legend, man, because of what you do inside of the ring and outside of the ring. Because a lot of times, unfortunately, we are only looking at boxers by what they do inside of the ring. And sometimes there are some boxers, you know, every now and then there are boxers who want you to see who they are in the ring, but what they do and how they contribute to the world is more important. Now, most boxers, they go through their life and they only focus on being in the ring and that's cool. So with the people who focus on the ring, we should look at them and judge them and analyze them for what they do inside of the ring not looking at their life on the outside of the ring and having a, a opinion on somebody else's life. Run your own life. However, Amir Khan is one of those individuals where he welcomes you to look at him in the ring and outside of the ring. And he's a great example of an individual, of a human, of a boxer, of a father, of a brother, of a son, etc you got what i'm saying so man shouts out to amir khan your run was legendary and when you was running you really was running you got what i'm saying like i'm telling you was all the way up when you was running you know you got some losses it's all good you know what I'm saying your bounce back is impeccable you got what i'm saying we are always proud of you i'm speaking for the boxing community right now we are proud of you you have represented 
the sport of boxing in an exemplary manner. You are not perfect, but you have definitely been great. You got what I'm saying? This is Power Ground Boxing, courtesy of Power Ground Sports. We talk about the biggest names in sports and entertainment, and I gotta remind you to stay on the grind. Peace. Hey.